up, guys? Mr. Biggie Mac here with the review on my Motorola Droid for Verizon Wireless. Um, guys, all I can say is wow. Okay. Um, well, let's say the the first part of this review is going to be software and applications. The second part will be um, hardware, um, accessories, and a giveaway. Okay. So to start off, um, I have not. Um, restarted this phone in two weeks. Uh, the only time it was restarted was when they did the uh, the update. It was a forced update, and it's been running perfect. Okay, um, even before they did the patch, I had absolutely no problems. Um, they were saying something about the um, the uh, the camera glitch where it was getting constant red lights and stuff like that. Um, I had absolutely none of that. Um, Everything has been perfect, guys. And uh, I'm telling you, if you guys go out and get this phone, you won't be sorry. Now, for I, uh, I wanted to touch on this subject for a second. Um, I've seen some videos where people went out and spent the money on the phone, and now all, the, all their videos are is, Wah, I don't like this keyboard. Wah, I don't like this. Um... Didn't you go to the store and physically touch the phone? Try it out because Verizon does have full working models on the floor. Um, you should have known the second that you picked this phone up if your thumbs or your hands were not going to work on this phone correctly. Okay. Um, the instant that I picked it up, I said, okay, well, there's enough room. I feel comfortable with it. But I think because the keys are a little are a little tiny bit small, not bad, that it would take a little getting used to. And it did. It took me about, about two or three days. Okay, And now two weeks into it, it's just like I was on any, any other phone. Okay, um, I have had absolutely no problems with, uh, with anything on it. Uh, as you can see, the on-screen keyboard is very nice size. Okay, it um it is nicely spread out, and uh, you know, air. I just spelled. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see that or not. I just spelled YouTube with no errors. Um, you know, it's it's really easy. And like I said, I'm a guy. Here's here's my hand holding a a can of regular cola. And as you can see, I don't got no small hands. Okay, I got some big meaty ass bear claws. And um, this phone works just fine with just fine for me. Okay, the keyboard works just fine. Now, in my second part of review, I'm going to go over something that kind of did interrupt with it, and that's why you don't see it on my phone no more. Um, okay, applications. Like I said, software has been awesome. I've had no glitches, no freeze ups, no nothing with the operating system on it. And then we're going to go into applications. Um, applications. Um, I did switch the browser. I did go to the Dolphin uh, browser on it uh, due to the fact that um, it does have the pinch to zoom, which is not a necessity, but it is nice to have just in case I go to a website and there's something I want to read. And I know you guys have seen this on other phone browsers. You get them texts where they're uh, a browser, you know, phone browser, you know, friendly or whatever, and they got a little tiny gray text. Well, I want to be able to zoom in just a little bit and make it just a little bit bigger so I can see it. So it's not a necessity, but it is nice to have, okay? Um, the second thing is uh, the App Store needs a little bit of updating. Uh, your best apps are the paid ones, okay? Um, I use Pixay for the pictures, which is awesome. It's like a mini mini Photoshop for your phone, guys. It's unbelievable. Uh do you, I, I ran into a lot of problems trying to find an on-off switch for the uh, Wi-Fi. Um, the one that I found that works flawlessly and does not take you into your applications menu and stuff like that in your settings menu is one called Toggle Wi-Fi. Okay, it's the little black and white uh, thing. It says Wi-Fi, like a little circle, like a yin-yang looking thing. It works awesomely, guys. Um, let's see here. Barcode scanner. I've actually used that in stores looking at the price stuff and nine chances out of ten you find exactly what you're looking for um on it 
Uh, MySpace works perfect on here. Facebook works perfect on here. Um, the messaging, uh, when you do like text messaging, it's a uh, threaded text. So it's like, it's almost like you're sitting there typing in a Yahoo Messenger text box, okay? Um, you don't have to close and reopen and restart the shit and find your buddy's name and do new text message. If you're going to sit there and be talking to that person, um, you know, you just hit it and it's just like you're in a Yahoo Messenger text, you know, it's, it's really nice. Okay. Um, I really haven't had a whole lot of experience with the, uh, applications because I was more work, working on the phone and multitasking, opening up the stuff that it came with and the browser and, and stuff like that. And like I said, I did switch the browser. Uh, the original browser that comes with it, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to pinch the zoom just for, you know, it's not a necessity, like I said, but it's just something nice to have. Um, the only thing that, um, going to some websites like MSN video or, uh, break.com or anything like that, uh, there is no flash player available for Android just yet. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out in January or February of 2010. So it's just a couple months away. Um, until then, you know, uh, Adobe hasn't put it out yet. They're in, it's in the making right now. So, uh, just stay tuned for that. Um, so, uh, like I said, maps is the maps is really cool. The um, the car home um, navigation is unbelievable, guys. This thing is is dead on. They just had two updates for it, and um, you know they're updating their maps a lot. Google's updating the maps a lot and stuff like that, and it's it's really dead on. Um, the voice search when you say directions to Walmart, uh, Manaka, PA, or something. Guys, that shit is dead on. I'm telling you that, you know, unless you're, like, speaking in different languages or you have some kind of defect in your voice, uh, it's going to understand you and it's going gonna, it's gonna to put it through. Okay. Um, YouTube, as you can see, I just clicked it. And, bam, the site's up. And there's the photos. And there it is. Uh the browser and the internet on it is really, really nice. It's clean. It's it's sleek. Uh, it works flawlessly for me. Um, I never have a problem getting on 3G at all. Uh, my signals are unbelievable. And uh, that's that's about it for right now on the software and the applications. So stay tuned for part number two coming up next. So I'll see you guys here in a few. Have a good one.